Hello everybody, and welcome back to the newest episode of Hollow Knight. Last time we uh, got the uh, Dream Nail, which allows us to uh, gain essence and pry into the minds of those we hit it with. What are you thinking of, Mr. Stag? I tire so easily now, and my old legs seem to wake more and more. Still, I'm lucky to grow old at all. So many of us haven't. He's also uh, gonna say something new to us now that uh, we have this tram pass. That pass you hold, it's not for that ghastly machine, the tram. I hope you're not thinking of riding that grotesque contraption. Before a mere machine could attempt what we stags do, foolish, very foolish. Uh, they're, they're coming for your job, my guy. Gotta, gotta fight the robots, you know. The resting grounds. Passengers will come here to conduct rituals for those who had passed on. Not anymore, though. Perhaps the dead conduct their own rituals now. You know, there is... I was a bit upset that uh, I... Yeah. I was stuck at 497 essence, but I realized there's this area. The Spirit Glade, which was unlocked for us as our second reward. The bugs within this glade are under my watch. Treat them with respect and you may remain. But raise your nail and you'll contend with me. Yeah, this guy is scary, and I do not want to tussle with him, especially on a Steel Soul playthrough. But there are a bunch of uh, bug designs and, you know, bugs that I think um, maybe the Kickstarters or whatever. People that funded this game, I think. I like this one. This one looks cool. But we are here for something specific. And it's right through here. Saw the essence, and uh, there's also this little path hidden in the waterfall. Which uh, gets us the king's idol. It's, uh, once I get another upgrade, I can do something here. A little Easter egg. If I hit any of these guys with my dream now, then Revek will just hunt me down and destroy me. But we got a we got our 500 essence. But uh yeah. We're going to try and reach a new area now. This one's going to be a bit of a detour, it's, it's nothing, uh, nothing required, but it's, it's just a good area to get some resources that we need. Like I hit me twice, really? Okay. Kind of want to kill these guys, these guys give a lot of, uh, You have a lot of geo, yeah, 51. And I need a bit of soul for what I'm about to do.
We'll get one heal. Don't want to waste any soul. We did not explore this area. Last time we were in Green Path. It lines up better this way. We needed a, a few things before we came here. A few uh, small geo reserves. And this gap, which we need our dash to get through. And uh, we get a chest. What, one, one coin, is that it? Whoa, 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 what? Yeah. It's, it's a pretty deadly ambush. But again, it's the panic which will get you. We've got an essence off that guy as well. It's like... If you stand close to one, you can fight the other one on one pretty pretty easily. And our, our fragile strength is sort of working against us a bit here because we're not getting uh, free hits on those guys to get a full to get a full uh, soul shot. God, I'm just gonna heal a bit. That guy's really, like, flinging those guys at me. <laughs> there we go. Here, we will see... The boulder shell. Um, that's a charm which gives us a shield when we uh, when we're healing. But now, we enter our new area. The Howling Cliffs. This is the absolute, you know, westernmost point of the map. Can't escape. Get a King's Idol here. No King, no Mind. Release. Might as well get some essence while we're going through this area. It's a very big one. I actually needed this soul, so... Higher beings, these words are for you alone. These blasted plains stretch never ending. There is no world beyond. Those foolish enough to traverse v this void must pay the toll and relinquish the precious mind this kingdom grants. It's, you know, it's a weird one. What that's trying to say is, um, that this kingdom granted intelligence to the bugs that lived here. And if you want to leave this place, you have to give that up. Oh, no, no, okay. 
didn't fall too far. Um, plain stretch on ending, beyond, like, no king, no mind. You know, it's an interesting concept. Where, where's our humming, by the way? Where's, where's Kornifer? Can give us a good, uh, good lay of the land here. Enjoying the bracing air, we're quite close to Halness borders and those desolate plains that surround it. In this direction, I'm about as far as I'm willing to go, though it's been a pleasant change from the tight confines of the caverns. I've drawn out a small map of the area. It's a simple one and more for completion, really. Not knowing the full extent of a region can be quite frustrating. For a cartographer, I can, you know, I can imagine. But, you know. It's a very calm area. You know, you get these uh, starter enemies. It's just a bit of delicate platforming and not even any stakes. You fall, you just come back up. No spikes, no acid. No music. I missed some essence somewhere. That's upsetting. Did I though? I did. Oh goodness, this is going to be an effort to try and find where though. Is. And then over here. Wasteland. Bugs reduced. Yeah. That's just, you know, saying again. They lose their minds if they go out. This was a secret wall which I sort of glossed over. You sort of had to come through here and then drop down. This is an extremely important wall. Which, uh... Is the start a new quest line mysterious uh, I can inspect it I think yeah corpse of a large bug wearing what seems to be some sort of red hood and mask but like nothing too recent and this wasn't like this when I came in We've lit the torch. And an accordion is playing in the back. We'll see about this later. But a scarlet flame has been lit in this area. And we will need to figure out what the consequences of that are. I'm being a bit cryptic, but you know, it's the start of a DLC. It's, it's a good DLC because it's 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 good and it's free. <laughs> Let 
this little area is fun because they hit you with the ambushes like the basic of basic enemies and they hit you with the ambushes and before you know it they just start whittling your health down Here's our shortcut back, but we're not done here. We're seeing all of these uh, blue lifeblood butterflies. And a whole lot of them. And look at this. Such a, such a nice area. Joni's Blessing. Blessed by Joni, the kindly heretic transfigures vital fluids into blue lifeblood. Ah, I see you bear my blessing. I can't remember giving it, but my memory has been lacking of late. Isn't it just so peaceful here? Such a perfect place to rest. I, like, this is... This is the sort of thing where I'm like, should I just kill him? Because he's dead, but... You know, is he's at peace here, so I think I'll leave him. He enjoys being here. Some NPCs that are like that are just, you know, clinging on to something and, you know, they, they should be put out of their misery. But, you know, leave Joni. He gave me his blessing. I took his blessing without him. Without him knowing, but you know, it doesn't matter too much. He doesn't need it. This is a tunnel of corpses and nails strewn and this very uh, wicked looking tunnel. But here's the bench. And here is the man. My brother Shio. How fair you in that groom kingdom of fawns you call home. I think of you every time I'd raise my nail. Do you ever close your eyes and remember the time we spent together with Oro and our master? I'd like to think that you do. Hmm? Ah, well met. Yes, I thought I could sense the aura of a fierce warrior approaching. I'm impressed you found my sanctuary here at the top of the world. No doubt you've encountered many trials to overcome and overcome many foes in your quest to find me. No, don't speak a word. I, Nail Master Mato, who was taught the art of the nail by the great nail sage himself, hereby accept you as my pupil. Let us begin the lesson immediately. Hell yeah. Neat little cutscene too. Mastered the Cyclone Slash. Your form, exquisite. Now I know how my own master felt when he passed down his teachings to us. 
I hope you don't think me too forward when I say that I consider you to be my child. Yes, when I saw you perform my nail art, I felt a bond between us suddenly flash into existence. You honor me beyond words, my pupil. Thank you. Bama. Cyclone slash. And you can spam it to make it go further. I think it. Yeah. It stools you in the air a bit. An interesting. Uh, an interesting technique. It's not too useful, but it has a few, like, fringe cases where it is. Does, does the damages, can confirm. Does, like, four hole damages. <laughs> this guy usually, like, lies in ambush in here. And then, like, as soon as you drop down here, he just, like, smacks you in the back. Frankly, I'm I'm shocked that I haven't filed a lawsuit against him. Here's a warrior spirit. I am Gorb. Bow, 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 bow to Gorb. Great mind. I am Gorb. Ascend, 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 ascend with Gorb. You're crazy, and you're making really weird noises. I will slowly start to shoot more and more. Yeah. At a maximum of three. He can be annoying, but it's not too bad. I am Gorb. For great mind, for pain, ascend, ascend. I am Gorb. He really was Gorb. Here lies Gorb, for great mind. Really? I think that's somebody else. I mean, he got him confused. You know, he wasn't saying his name enough for me to, to, to recognize him as Gorb. I will not falter. Now, does this in any way look familiar to you? If it does at this point, well done. But what about now? Does it look familiar to you? We are at the King's Pass. And uh, this is the second way you can make it to uh, to the Howling Cliffs it's by going up here. Nothing interesting there, but just want a quick descent, really. Okay. And you know, just a bit of a trip down memory lane. Still can't make that jump even with a dash. Maybe you can. But it's a bit tight, so. You know, we could uh we could have made it back to King's Pass by, you know, doing this. But we're back at Dirt Mouth. But something has changed. And somebody's not happy with this change. <laughs> ah. Look over there. Something strange and sinister suddenly appeared. Uh, fills me with dread. 
I think it best I try to ignore it. Why must these grotesque strangers intrude on our peaceful little home? Sometimes it feels like the whole world is conspiring to make me uncomfortable. Tough luck, mate. They, they, they can stay if they want. They're not doing any harm yet. You know what? Let's, let's go meet them. I'm sure they're nice people. See? Mm, you called us. Speak to Master. Mm, speak to Master. When flame burns bright inside one's mind, kin heed for call across lands and time. Interesting little poem for him to be thinking of. Poem, I guess. That sort of makes sense. We joined the circus, everybody. But not just any circus. The cosmic temporal circus of fire or something. So it was you who called us. Well met, my friend. Well met. Cue, like, oblivion dialogue. Does anyone see City Swimmer? Is he gliding beneath the silver water? Is he creeping round a corner, hugging a wall, silent as a shadow in the dark? Well met. I am Grim, master of this troop. The lantern has been lit and your summon seated. A fine stage you choose, this kingdom followed by worm and root. Perfect earth upon our ritual shall take place. And you, my friend, your own part is far from over. As the lantern flared, your role was cast, our compact written in scarlet fire. Eager we are to see you commence, but first some illumination is required. Grimchild. Across these lands, my kin now spread, harvesting that essence peculiar to my breed, the flame in dream. Seek my kin, claim their flame, and return it to me. Together, marvels shall be achieved. But don't fret, small one, for this task you won't travel alone. My child shall guide you to the flame and gather within itself that burning essence. Like you, the child plays a key role in this task. Only with it by your side will flame and my kin reveal themselves to you. And just like where he's gone. Yes, this is the Grim Troop. The flame. Seek it out. For Master and for our kin. Hmm. The flame. Seek it out. For Master and our kin. A new land, different from the last. How many more will we see? The roads between are dark and long. But the master's light will always guide us. And this abomination <laughs> is divine. Ah, did you call us? You called us and we came, we came. Don't look so scared. Why did you call us? Ah, it doesn't matter. Don't tell me. We came and I smell something. Something deep below us. I want it. I want it. Yeah, this is divine. Um... If you look at her hands, she has some very similar claws to Leg Eater down below. She will ask you to see the fragile charms, the ones that I have on me right now. And um, yeah, she'll do something with those, but we don't want that at the moment. Let's talk to everybody around, you know. How are you doing? Oh, come on, yeah. I've been hearing about strangers that have come to town. They're strange indeed from what I've been told. What interest does this tight little place hold for them? I'm thinking you may know the answer to that. None of my business, of course, but I'd be wary of their deals and promises. Keep your nail half-drawn if you understand me. Oh, 
Pokemon, yeah? Hmm, you seem a little different. Something has changed in your bearing. Ah, the way you hold your nail. So you've learnt a nail art. Very interesting. I wonder, do you have the passion to continue your training? You found a new nail then? It looks much finer weapon than the last. Hmm? Oh, it's the same nail? But it's been honed by someone extremely skilled. A nail is an extension of ourselves and is the instrument by which we shape the world around us. It is... It's a sacred duty to keep its edges sharp. <laughs> Sorry. I shouldn't ramble on like that. Let's talk Geo instead. Papa Sute. Okay. He's at the dialogue. What are you thinking? Wherever you are, whatever it is you do now, I hope you three are looking after yourselves. Interesting. You've returned to your original spot. Are you thinking anything different? To descend into that ruin. Why? Things are so much simpler up here. It's not all about being simple. Have you seen them? The travellers who set up camp outside town? I was interested at first. Not a lot's been happening lately. But they have a sinister feeling to them. You can feel it, right? I have told Corner for not to speak to them. His heart and his mind are a little too open sometimes. Are you enjoying yourself down in the ruins? At times, my husband makes Halloness sound a wonder, but sometimes it seems a ghastly and dangerous place. I'm glad I put down my weapon. This quiet life with Courtney makes me a lot happier. It would be nice to stre my stretch my legs again though, sometime soon. Also very interesting. She was a warrior at one point. Ugh. The white savior returns. Long had they remained a part of the village. Once so warm, now grew cold. The maiden felt the well of grief. It gripped fierce about her lonely shell. And suddenly, as though her tragic state was sensed, the savior returned, standing tall, glowing bright. Blow shining horns, eyes well black, glistening. Eyes only for the maiden, long missed, long desired. Her saviour leaned close, sat behind, perfectly composed. In that charged, breathless moment, not a word needed to be spoken. The maiden's shell felt suddenly tight, her claws curled. No glance was shared, no claws touched, just perfect, aching love shared in silence, together. Discussed then. What are you thinking? White Wanderer, don't be shy. Cold outside, bed is soft, not a chance, love. Not a chance. Grim Child. Worn by those who take part in the Grim Troops ritual. Bearer must seek the Grim Kin and collect their flames. I'm Collective flames will appear on the bearer's map. Okay. Let's see. What else do we have? This is a very reedy episode, I know. But we just got the dream nail, and yeah, that's a very dialogue heavy tool. The signature na nail art of Nailmaster Mata. A spinning attack that rapidly strikes foes on all sides. A white idol depicting the king of Halonest. The elusive king was worshipped through these idols, relic of uh, Halonest's past. This gets us a lot of money again. A rare pale metal that emanates an icy chill, prized by those who craft weapons. We have a simple key as well. We have a Rancid egg to return. Also, we can do this, I think. You have another mask shard, right? Yeah. And that'll complete the one that we have. We are up to seven. Give me this while you're at it. I don't have anything to be spending my money on, and I have plenty of it. Ah, still looking for something to buy. Is your Geo weighing you down? Unfortunately, you seem to have cleared me out of everything I'd be willing to part with. 
Nothing left at all. I think there might be a few old trinkets down in my storeroom, but I lost the key a while ago. So, no more business between us, I'm afraid. For now, at least. Get out of here and let me spend some quality time with all the geo you've gifted me. Okay. We'll buy the rest of your stock, too. Why not? Bafanada. Cocoon pin. Whispering root pin. Warrior's grave pin. Stagway pin. Tram pin. Hot spring pin. Scarab marker. Shell marker. And token marker. Oh, after more supplies, you've already bought so much. Unfortunately for now, you've cleaned us out of everything worth selling. Cornifer will no doubt be pleased, though I do wonder what uh, what he plans to spend all that geo on. I don't know why he's doing that. Shouldn't be uh, soul shotting so haphazardly. Hey, wake up. It came back. Does it remember Jin? Will it offer a gift? Trade for useless shinies? Would it offer a gift so wonderful to Jin? Yeah, take it, mate. Gift is horrible gift. Disgusting. But Jin knows one who appreciates. Give me the money, mate. Thank you. Our final business for this episode will be in the City of Tears. We have to visit Lem and uh, after that we can visit, um, what's his face, Nailmaster. Hello Lem, how's it going? Another Wanderer's Journal. I might not offer a lot for each, but they're plentiful about the caverns, and I doubt you'll find another willing to make a trade for Geo. Wanderer's Journal? Yes, yes, add it to the pile with the others. I don't know when I'll get to decipher this one. It's long hard work translating the many languages of the bugs that explore these caverns. Wanderer's Journal? You have a knack for finding these. Corpses must be frequent on your journey. No doubt your nails created many more. Another wondrous journal, eh? This journal is uh, it's of traditional stone type. Text endures well upon it. In its declining age, the city switched from stone to parchment woven from spider silk. It's a small tragedy, but the moisture in these towers has rendered most of the texts illegible. Yep, that's another Hellenist seal, alright. I'm sure we'll be overflowing flowing with these soon. Gah, I never guessed so many would be lying around. If they're as common as, it, as you make them seem, maybe I've been offering too much for them. Another Hellenist seal, pass it over then. A Hellenist seal? You're a talented collector, alright? Best I've met. If you keep at it, I'll worry I'll run out of space in the shop. If you're not worried you'll run out of money? This guy's loaded. King's Idol. King's Idol, eh? Hellenist King was an elusive figure, deified by the citizens. With the king ready seen, worship was offered through these idols. There's an expert craft of them, few alive could match this skill. And we didn't read the description of, or Lem's description of it. An icon of Halness King who is revered as both God and a ruler, made out of a mysterious white material. These are very rare and valuable. These are likely made of the same thing as Palor, or whatever that is. King's Idol, 
If you look closely, each of these idols is subtly different. There are fine engravings about them. Take some time to decipher. I, sus I suspect that each was tailored to the owner, a personalized symbol of a king's omnipotence. Helmadelka. Thanks for the money, man. You're, you're definitely funding funding like everything I could ever need. Ow. How dare you. How dare you. You killed yourself though. It's fine. Ah, you returned. I see you have some pale or a rare fine metal that. Give me some more and some geo for my efforts, and I'll reforge your nail and make it stronger. 800 geo? That's a steal right there. As you wish. I'll get to work then. There we go. The reforging is complete. I've added a channel to your nail. It should cut more efficiently. You'll find it stronger than it used to be. Head up there and test this blade against your foes. To forge the perfect nail. We uh, one shot the little husks now. So one, two, two shot the guards. We always one shot those with uh, our damage. A cleft weapon of Hallness. The blade is exquisitely balanced. Looks really cool now. One Geo is struggling though. I think they'll do it just about for this episode. You know, I've done a lot of exploring, seen a lot of uh, new things, or well, not seen a lot of new things. You've seen a lot of new things if you haven't played this game. <laughs> I've seen uh, a lot of things I've seen before, but I've made progress. That's the point. <laughs> and yeah, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.